Hello! This video is going to be the first of three behind the scenes videos for Glatorian Battle. In this video, I'll talk about the pre-production, which is everything I had to do before I could begin filming. First, I needed an idea. I thought it was a little silly that, in the Bionicle story, tribes would resolve their conflicts by having Glatorian fight, so I thought, what if this were true for even the smallest of disagreements? So I came up with the idea of having two Glatorian fighting a serious life or death battle over something really small. I wasn't sure exactly what the disagreement would be, but I thought the idea was good enough so I went ahead and began working on the fighting part of the video first. But before I could begin filming, I needed to make a set. I got $10 of sand from the hardware store, a broken piece of insulation foam, and some spray paint. I don't really know much about making sets, so I just whacked the foam with a metal tool, sprinkled on some sand, and then blasted it with spray paint. It's nothing professional, but for the purposes of a short YouTube video, I think it turned out pretty well. Altogether, this only cost about $20 and a few hours of my time. It isn't all that difficult or expensive to make a pretty good looking set, so I'd encourage anyone who wants to make a stop motion animation to at least give it a shot. You can even get rocks from outside like I did for the Krana. To light the set, I used two lights. One acted like the sun and was positioned very close to the characters, making it appear bright. The angle I put it at also highlighted a lot of the detail on the rock face. I added another light to fill in the dark areas and shadows. This made it much easier to expose the camera properly, since cameras have trouble capturing extremely dark and bright things at the same time, in this case the bright sand and the dark shadows. I positioned this light far away from the set so that it would not overpower the main sunlight. For the characters, I had to make a few modifications so that they would work better for stop motion animation. For example, I had to secure these feet shields with a black pin so that they wouldn't flop around while I was filming. I also removed the scoring wheels from the back because I thought they looked kind of distracting and didn't really fit with the overall tone of the video. I chose these bionicles in part because they have distinct colors which stand out well from the background. I made the Scareback Beetle based on a few pictures I saw online of someone else's design. I made a video tutorial if you're interested in making one. With a set, characters, and an idea, I could begin filming. 